I'm from San Francisco, California. I'm from Queens, New York. Austin, Texas. I live in Maryland. I'm here studying medicine in Havana, Cuba. I'm a current fifth year at the Latin American School of Medicine. In pretty much all of our cases, we would not have been able to afford to go to medical school in our country. It was just a little strange idea to leave home for so long, but it was, it's also following your dream, so sometimes you got to make sacrifices. This is a huge opportunity because you don't see nowadays that a country is giving full ride scholarships for students who wanted to study medicine. So the program is aimed at low-income students, people that come from underserved communities. I realized that I either had to get into debt or I had to not study medicine, and if I had to get into debt, in order for me to serve my community, I wouldn't be able to because I would have to pay back that debt. The idea is to, once we become doctors, is to return to our low-income communities, underserved communities, and essentially serve them because there is a huge deficit when it comes to access to healthcare services. We get to go back and serve our communities directly because we're not going to be burdened with the idea of not being able to afford to live in our country pay our bills and also heal people. I wanted to be a doctor who is affordable for everyone who can communicate with the community, who can help others. I jumped at the idea because I've only heard great stuff about Cuban doctors. Here, everybody gets treated no matter what, but over there, they're not too keen on treating you if, you're not, if you can't pay. A lot of people can't afford insurance and a lot of people don't get the care that they need. I know personally, my family, you know, several members being uninsured for a long time, you know, people only go to the doctor when it's an emergency, you know, and that emergency is often a condition that could have been prevented. My brother has cancer and so my mom has good insurance, but I wonder if my mom didn't have good insurance, would they treat them as well? Would they order him all these tests, you know? Medicine at the community level is significantly different than medicine at the community level in the U.S., which is practically inexistent. So it's really, really amazing to see that community aspect and the doctors literally forming an amazing part and has a big role within the community that they're serving. Here in Cuba, we learned that um, treating a patient is not just giving the medicine, it's about communication, it's about understanding what is going through the patient's life and though all that is going to make the patient feel better and actually that will help to give a better treatment. The family medicine doctors are able to catch a patient before they decompensate. Something amazing that we get to do in this program is that starting second year we get to see patients, we get to work with um, a doctor, with a nurse, in the consultorios. They have learned more empathy and community. And I feel like in America, we really don't have a strong community base. One thing that's very interesting out here is despite the, the shortages, you know, due to the blockade, due to, you know, the current economic situation, you see how the community tries to connect the patients with what they need. I feel like being in Cuba has been an amazing experience and I honestly wouldn't have changed that position for anything. Living in Cuba and then going back to the States is very different. People are not the same, they're not as friendly. I've really seen how Cubans look out for each other and also how they embrace us in a way that I feel like in our country they don't always embrace foreigners as well as we should. It has been a great experience. It's been a great last seven years. Um, it has had its difficulties but I've definitely learned a lot. I've definitely learned um, solidarity with people, being there for people even in the hardest uh, of moments because that's what medicine really is. Medicine is really empathy.